Okay, we're back with side pass left and right because you're probably holding the leash wrong and so you're never going to get this result. So you've got to have a six foot leash. You've got to have the remote in this hand. Don't have all that crap hang hanging down. This leash needs to be a little bit softer, but get them up here. Now the leash is my rudder. I'm not going to yank on it. I'm going to lead with the leash. So he understands that's a rudder. If you said you're, I am. I'm using the leash, the leash. Oh, I'm using the leash like the maestro. Oh, I hope you're there, Aaron. I want to be called the maestro now, if you don't mind. I'll need you to refer to me as maestro. So if you said, how can it go sideways? And initially the way I did it was step forward. Step a little forward, step a little forward. And then eventually I'm just pretending to step forward. It's reasonably easy to go this way. This way is where you're getting into a bind. So I appear to be stepping forward initially, but I'm really just going sideways. If you I'm trying to stay on the line. I'm trying to stay on the line. So if you said I want him to go backwards, I need to get my leash in front of me. And then if I want to go this way, this way. I want to sit. Leash goes up a little. So in his mind, I'm still kind of going forward because that's how I initially did it. But really, we're only going sideways. <laughs> we're really only going sideways. So that is the difference. All right, guys, let me get this battery's going low, but I'll be right back and I'm going to do a few more here.